Hey mathematicians, all right, in this lesson, we're going to be multiplying fractions by fractions using a ruler and a number line. All right, let's begin here. All right, so here's what it's asking us to do. It wants us to model one-half groups of one half. Now I'm going to be using this number line and this ruler together to help me solve this problem. Now the first thing that I need to do is I need to look at what I'm, it's asking me to find. It's asking me to find one half of one half. So on my number line I'm going to use my ruler and I'm actually going to mark one half. You can see on the ruler that this is one half. Now if I'm just looking at half of this and I'm looking to find one half of one half. I'm going to split this part into two equal parts. And what I can do is I can look at my ruler and I can see that right here is halfway. And this mark on the ruler is one fourth. So if I have one half of a group of one half, I'm actually only working with this one fourth. So one half of or times one half equals one fourth. Another example, what is one half groups of one fourth? Again, I'm going to be using my number line and my ruler, and I'm going to start with one fourth because I'm actually going to find half of one fourth. So here is one fourth on the ruler, and I've placed that on the number line, the same mark. And what I'm actually looking to do is to find two pieces or half of the one-fourth. So if I mark exactly in half, you can see here this is the one-eighth point on the ruler. If I were to take and split that one-fourth into two equal parts and just take half of it, half of one-fourth, I would end up with one-eighth. Here is one-half of one-fourth. So one-half of or times one-fourth equals one-eighth. Cool. All right, let's try another example. All right, in this one, it wants us to find one-fourth groups of one-half. Ooh, this is going to be a fun one. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with one-half. So using my ruler and my number line, I'm going to mark one-half. And now what I need to do is I need to look at this ruler, and I need to think, how can I break this up into four equal parts so that I can find one-fourth of one-half? All right, let's see here. I can start counting by sixteenths, and I'd get one, two, three, four, oh, too many sixteenths. What if I counted by eighths? Here's one-eighth two eighths, three eighths, oh, and four eighths would give me four equal parts. So let's see here. Here's one, two, three, and I'm using the eighths marks. So you can see that before this was one half, this is one eighth, two eighths, and three eighths. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to find one fourth of a group out of the one half. So I've taken my half, I've split it into four equal sized pieces, and I'm going to just look at one fourth of that, which would be one out of four. And what I end up with here, if I look at my ruler, is one eighth. So one fourth of one half equals one eighth. All right, I think we're going to do one more today. All right, oh cool, this is a good one. What is one half groups of three fourths? So let's see, what we first need to do is identify on the ruler and the number line where is three fourths. And three fourths is right here. Here is three-fourths. And what I want to do is I want to find half of that. So I need to be looking at my ruler and find the exact halfway point um, on, this, on this ruler. So let's see. I'm going to go by eighths because I can. Here's one-eighth, two-eighths, three-eighths, four-eighths, five-eighths. And then this would be six-eighths. And I can split that in half because the halfway point would be right here at three-eighths. So what you can see here is I've actually taken this whole section of three-fourths and I've split it into two equal size groups, which allows me to find one half of three-fourths. Now if I follow it down to my ruler, this mark here, this was one-eighth, this is two-eighths, and this mark here where we're at is three-eighths. So one-half groups of three-fourths equals three -eighths. Eights. Cool. All right, so in this lesson, we multiplied fractions by fractions using a ruler and a number line.